Welcome back to the Morning Blend. Ringing in the ears is a common and very <laughs> irritating problem. It can cause a lot of distress and even depression. But today we actually have good news about managing this condition. Isn't that horrible? You, we've all yeah. had that oh, before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know that feeling. Dr. Mavin Candula is a board-certified ear, nose, and throat specialist. And Dr. Gwen Candula is a board-certified doctor of audiology, both with Advent, located in Wauwatosa, and the cutest married couple ever. Oh. Yeah. Like, <laughs> You love the kind of ridiculous, don't right? you? I mean, everybody knows. It's not like it's a secret. You guys are so great. Good to have you guys here. Yeah. I think anybody who has chronic ringing in their ears is going to just perk up with this and say, "Help me out," because it can just mm -hmm. when you have it for a short period of time, it can drive you crazy. How do you say it? Tinnitus? Either it doesn't. It, re, honestly, either way is fine. What so are the tinnitus, two ways? Tinnitus or tinnitus? Okay. Doesn't matter. Tomato, some, some, tomato. Folks, some folks are very, very adamant that it's this way or that way, but honestly, it's, it's same either. problem. It's same literature. problem. Either yeah, way. in the literature, it's, it's both ways. When you see speakers, okay. it goes it goes yes. both yes. ways. Okay. So we usually mirror whatever a patient says. And okay. That's just fine. So right. what's the deal? Why does it happen? Because and is it different between someone like you know me or Molly who has it just once in a while mm -hmm. and someone who has it consistently? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so almost everybody has it. Periodically, so that's okay. I mean, it's annoying though. Even in those situations, there are about ten percent of the population who has it chronically. So mm. all the time, every day, day in, day out. That usually it can be various sounds. So you know, really, what it is, and just to make sure everybody's on the same page with, with, with what we're talking about, it's just the perception of sound when it's actually not there. And so you're hearing usually it's high pitched squeal. Sometimes it's a roar. Sometimes it's a whooshing sound. Sometimes it can be your heartbeat. It can be a variety of things, and it's not supposed to be there. Why does it happen? Well, it, it's very complicated. But the simplest way to, to kind of play it out is where you actually hear is in your brain. Mm -hmm. Your brain wants to hear. Most folks who have chronic ringing in the ear in their ears have problems with hearing loss. And so the ears are not delivering to the brain the input that the brain is looking for. And the brain tries to compensate for that by producing its own sound. Mm -hmm. So in those same frequencies where you're not hearing properly, it creates its own little squeal, which is annoying. So it's looking for, it wants to get that stimulation and it's not getting it. And it does what it, what it tries to do to, to get by. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So is this uh, something genetic or lifestyle? Because I, I think of it, you know, after you go to a concert mm -hmm. or something and the sound is really loud for a long time, you leave and you have that ringing. Absolutely. And so for the 10% that have it chronically, it's a little different than for those of us who just get it once in a while. But we have so found some important lifestyle factors that can make any ringing um, more intense for periods of time. And the biggest being noise exposure and stress. But then mm. that list goes on to include things like certain medications, fatigue, um, and a variety of other health issues, um, caffeine and, and alcohol, you know, other things like that. So mm. that's one of the things we like to look at with people as well. Is there a way that you can tell if someone has ringing in their ears or is it purely based on what a patient reports? Mm. It's what they report. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's based, and a lot of folks um, get isolated because they don't, they, um, they don't know what to do, number one. A lot of folks get, you know, people are dismissive of their issue because they are, you don't, you know, if somebody has ringing, you don't see it, you don't hear it, but it's there. And for somebody, it's happening, you know, 24 seven, uh, day in, day out. And it, it gets depressing after a while, honestly, because mm -hmm. it's there, it's annoying. And a lot of times it's that, that the brain that can't get off of the, can't, can't stop focusing on it. And folks don't know that there are any options out there. There are options. There's no quick fix. There's not like a simple medication we can give somebody to get rid of it, but we can understand or help them understand what's going on and we can have a variety of things that can really, really help the cause. Mm -hmm. So what kinds of things when you talk about, you know, I, I would imagine it's hard to diagnostically prove that you're having ringing in the ears. Is that true? Well, or? We, when we do our test, we actually do a part of the testing called tinnitus matching where mm -hmm. we'll play some sounds and they'll say, is it higher or lower, louder or softer? And we'll go through and try to pinpoint what their sound is. Now with everybody, mm -hmm. we, we're not able to find it with everybody, but with a lot of people we can. And that that can help us then hone in on what kind of treatment are we looking for um, along with really a lot of it is talking to them and finding out what their needs are but some of the things we look at doing are sound therapy either through amplification or through a tinnitus masker and we've also had a lot of success using music therapy as well and I bet it's encouraging for people when you match the sound for, yes. they feel understood mm -hmm. suddenly like yeah that's the yeah. sound that I hear in my and ears all the time great is we can play that then we can play that sound for family members and usually they're like 
it's like that. Like, no way, I that's no what idea. you I go through? I thought it was through? like my ringing, you know, and, and yeah. it's really a great conversation that they're able to have when we do that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You guys have a free program tomorrow night. Is this specifically for tinnitus or mm -hmm. tinnitus? Yep. For both, yes. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk about both. both of those. No, but we're gonna, you know, basically not tendonitis. Not tendonitis. So that's a bit, different problem too. But yeah, we're, we're both are going to be talking. We're going to give an in-depth, you know, sort of background what it is and what what the treatment job, options are, and um, you know, and and getting a group of people together who have those issues, and you know, that that's sometimes nice just to have that feedback from. And from can them most with each people other. get relief? Yeah, 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 most people Absolutely. can. Absolutely. You know, I think that's great. It, yes. It is. That's very encouraging. We, we decided to do this seminar after we've had some really big successes, and we're like, wow, we shouldn't let more people know about this. That's because awesome. Because so many people have just been told there's nothing we can do, it's going to be there forever. And even if it's there, there's things we can do to manage it. It's wonderful information. When runs the nonprofit side of Advent? <laughs> <laughs> You can tell, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> Here's the information so that you can attend this free educational program. It's the tinnitus free educational program is how I'm going to say it. It's happening tomorrow night at 6 p.m. at the Crown Plaza Hotel and Conference Center, which is located at Highway 100 and Watertown Plank Road. Advent.md slash event um, hyphen form is the uh, uh, website to visit for more information. And here is where you can find the Hearing Center at Advent, located on North Mayfair Road in Wauwatosa. The phone number again, 414-771-6780 or just advent.md. Yeah. And I mean <laughs> that because you care oh, so I much. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Take no it's awesome. Yeah. I agree. But Thanks. I would agree with that, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you guys, you do. You just care a lot, and so yeah. it's great. Thanks so much. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thanks to both thank of you. you. Thank you very much.